exporting data from AutoCAD for doing earthwork calculation. Hello everyone, welcome to video tutorial on how to export data from AutoCAD drawing for doing earthwork calculation. For doing earthwork calculation, surface data and boundary are required. In this example, let us export surface data and boundary from CAD drawing and then do the earthwork calculation for a single formation level followed by exporting formation level. To export ground data from CAD drawing, select Export Ground from eSurvey CAD menu option. Select the text objects representing ground levels. All the levels get exported to C, colon, eSurvey, temp folder in a file named ground.csv. Now, you can export boundary using an export boundary option from eSurvey CAD menu. Select the closed polyline indicating the surface boundary. Boundary gets exported to C colon eSurvey temp directory in a file named boundary.csv. Let us now open eSurvey CAD. Create a new project. Let us import those surface data represented by ground levels using surface import data option. As data exported from CAD are available in C colon eSurvey temp directory, let us select the ground.csv file. Please note that exported data will be in serial number, easting, northing, elevation and remarks format. That is, the values in the text box has to be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let us now click on the import button to import the surface value. Let us now import boundary using import boundary option. As boundary exported from CAD is available in C, colon, eSurvey, temp directory, select the boundary.csv file. Click on the import button to import the boundary or just click CAD import. Let us have a look at what has happened to imported data by clicking on view button which will show us the surface data and boundary. Before doing the calculation, let us set important parameter grid spacing. Grid spacing is the key input which controls the accuracy of the estimation of quantities. Lesser the grid spacing, more the accuracy and vice versa. Let us also set factors for displaying the required information like grid, grid annotations and grid elevation. Now, let us enter the formation level. For example, 460.8 and click on the view button. Now, as per our setting surface, grid, grid elevation and boundary information are displayed. Let us now click on the volume button to see the calculated cutting and filling volume. To see calculation details, let us click on calculation and drawing button and we can look at various sections created at each chain age with ground and formation surface data. In similar lines, we can export formation level and import formation level instead of a constant formation level. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to generate section drawings and area or volume reports.